Yeah. I'm high. Try this. Try this. Potato. Rick with the champions. I love it. You. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so now we get to begin our almost 600 mile drive back to San Diego in a $1,500 car that we picked up yesterday. <laughs> Look at men, huh? Pray for us. <laughs> $1,500 sketch box. I had him when I came out. Preliminary oil and coolant check. We still don't have a working temperature gauge in this vehicle which is sick but we do have coolant all right we were low when we bought the car but we added a quart so we should be right, so we should be good thank you sophie thank you mr sam you ready where's the gas station oh <laughs> And we're off, baby. Road trip! Part two. Yeah, wide open. <laughs> That's not awful. That's not awful. It's like hella dipping. What's the switch supposed to do? It's uh, that's the NOS. Oh shit. Ah! Stop for gas and Danny's trying to fix his window. Quick bathroom break. Gas stop. But one look at her, she's oh so fine. I know I've got to make her mine. She's just my kind. We have problems. What's our problem, Daniel? A problem? No, we don't have any problems. We don't have any problems. Problem is, we're not home yet. So we're halfway to San Diego and we're just gonna pop the hood and look at stuff. Yeah, I'll drive, I'll take a stint. Because Quinn asked what the problem was and said we had a problem. Now we have a misfire. Now we have a misfire because this is your brony. But it'll clear itself up. I have faith in it. It'll be fine. Now it's a threesome. Now it's gone. <laughs> How's the drive? Sheep. Sheep. <laughs> because there's a fire. The wall is on fire. The wall is on fire. The concrete wall is on fire. <laughs> the concrete wall is on fire. What, what is going on? What is that? I don't know. There's a concrete fire. Dude, there's a... <laughs> 
All right, so we came up on a little bit of traffic, so Quinn's gonna try and shift it into fourth. I'm not, I'm not, I'm not gonna do it when I have to. He's gonna do it when he has to, so you let me know when that is, and before you do it, I'll pull up the camera. All right, it's time to try and go for fourth. That's not good. Put it in first now. Oh, the clutch, <laughs> yeah, it's the clutch. The clutch is in all the way. All right, so our hud clutch hydraulics are going out. Um, I'm hoping that it's just it's low on fluid. Straight? Yeah, straight. So I'm hoping that it's just low in fluid and that the master is being starved. Right now I'm literally shifting without without the clutch. No, it's the same level. It's the same level as it was. Right, she way. The boot is dry on the master. Okay. We've made it so far, little TI. So we've driven about 500 miles before this thing finally kicked. Um, the clutch is not disengaging when we push the clutch pedal in. So we're gonna try and let it cool off for a little while. Hopefully that will like, I don't know, maybe do something. Because when you're in gear and going, it doesn't slip at all. So it might be hydraulic. I kind of think we might be able to limp it back to San Diego. As long as we're within this range, we can get towed no matter what, so. Yeah, there's, just there's a matter There's a million of, different ways to get home. Right just now. a matter of getting towed from here or getting towed from the side of the highway. Exactly. If, it, if it comes to that. I mean, it's safer to tow from here. Yeah. But are we here to be safe, bro? Not really. What are you thinking right now, Daniel? What do you mean? What do you What are you thinking we do? We could fill it up to gas and limp it home. We could. I bet we could make it. It's not going to be pretty, but we can make it. Did you try and move it? No, I haven't done anything to it yet. I've just been letting. How it long do you want to let it wait? Food always heals the soul. Amen. Problems are less problems after you eat. Like car. <laughs> All right, so we're gonna push it, fill it up, get it a little bit longer to cool down, and then uh, see what happens, see if it works. So my theory is that it's heat soaked, a slave. Awful awesome theory. So hopefully we ate, went to the bathroom, kind of chilled out. It's been probably about an hour since we've driven the car, so hopefully it's cooled down enough that it'll maybe work. Fingers crossed. Should we all be in the car for this? Uh, yeah, well, if it works, we're just gonna take off, so. All right. If it goes in the gears. We're fine if it doesn't. We're fine. Let's clutch in, baby. Oh, sick. You wanna drive around the parking lot real quick? No. Back on the road. <laughs> I told you, dude. Got him. Walking got him. It's because I prayed to our Lord and Savior. Jesus. Jesus Christ. Jesus Christ. <laughs> what a <laughs> legendary trip, bro. <laughs> we didn't make it. That's what happened. We didn't make it. But we're going to make it. What an absolute chat of a car. I'm going to church. Power move. <laughs> it shifted. It shifted. <laughs> All right. Happy Easter, All right. guys. Happy Amen, Easter. brother. It's working! Yeah, so it was, it wasn't, see it wasn't me, it wasn't me. The little, the little runs again, bro. That's a donkey, sometimes they're dialed. Sometimes they're stuck, sometimes they're stubborn. We're good, we're good, we're solid, bro, we're homebound. There it is, the sign that says San Diego. So we made it back, we made it back to Oceanside. Oh shit, that's bright. We're just gonna 
hopefully it shifts and we only have to shift like once or twice. We got, we got a roundabout going from the five south to the 78 east. That's like a third gear kind of 30 mile an hour corner. Um, we're gonna find out if it goes into gear. It's, we've been on the road for probably 50 minutes, something like that. Stall it out on the freaking on ramp going up, which is gonna be sick. So we're gonna find out here in a minute what is actually so going on. We'll, Kyle. we'll, we'll definitely be recording it. Probably gonna freak someone out whose name Kyle was watching. This. <laughs> I think we'll be fine. We'll it be works fine. fine getting out, but now that we've been on the road and everything's back up to 10, we'll see what happens. It is a lot colder. When we came yeah, down the mountain, when we taking it real easy too. When we came down the mountain, it was it was pretty hot. So ideally, it, it oh. should work. But we'll see. <laughs> Give you that Danny cam, the Dan, the Danny POV. Right, right Watch out! Yeah. All right. So yeah, gonna go in. Uh, not very nicely. It went in, but not not no, it's ideally. Like, it's like shifting without a clutch. So, but you had the clutch in still. Yeah, yeah, I did, and it wasn't it wasn't matching, so I had to rev it so it wouldn't hurt. So if I yeah, so this normal clutchless shifting is what's going on there. So with clutchless shifting, um, you can shift without using the clutch. You just have to match the input shaft speed of the gear you want to go in and the engine speed. So like there, it was in fourth, I wanted to go to third. It wouldn't let me into third, but I revved it a bunch and it finally got in that RPM range where it matched and then it just went in. So don't ne, don't do it if, unless you unless have to you because it have can to. mess so up your synchros. This does mean that this thing is going to be stalled out of my house, unfortunately. Third gear, this might have been a second gear thing. But we'll make it. Third gear's... It's fogging pretty good right now, but it's, I'm not going to shift. Fine. It's fine. Are you going to stay in third the whole way? The thing with clutchless shifting is RPM is your friend. Um, so if you'll see when I go to shift here, so I'm not going to touch the clutch pedal at all. I'm going to go pull it out. So as soon as you let off gas, it unloads the transmission. You can take it out of gear. And then when it falls down, it'll slide into the next gear. So here we go. Out of gear, into gear. Did you see that? Yeah. Did you see the tack do that? Yeah. So I didn't touch the clutch there at all. Um, it's not necessarily good for the synchros or good for the transmission, but in, in this situation, I don't have a clutch pedal. He doesn't have a choice. I don't have a choice. It's either this or we pull off on the road and get towed. So it's just kind of the name of the game. So hopefully when we get to the light, it's already green and so we can just kind of coast through. I'll just gear match as I can. Um, if not, we're probably gonna have to shut the car off because if you shut it off, it'll go into first gear fine. It'll just be trying to go forward as you start it. The light? Oh, the light's yellow now. All right, let's, let's get some slow down going. So the light just turned yellow onto the on-ramp, so we're well, trying we're to... hoping that we can We're slow slowing it because down. it's late. And light hopefully it turns green. Oh, green. oh, it's green, green. Lettery, baby, lettery. <laughs> let's fucking go. All right, heel toe. Heel toe, no clutch. Heel toe, no clutch. Oh I just heel toed without a clutch. <laughs> heel toe, no clutch. Fucking sick. Uh, here's the other issue. Oh, this That's is the problem. Right there. This is it. This is the last light. Hey, it's green. And it's green. Well, there's, and it's one, green. there's one light there, but that, that is usually always green. Yeah. Where? The, oh, yeah, you're right. Yeah, you just got to get at that RPM range. Oh, rev it up. There it goes. Right. It's not ideal. It's you don't not, want to mess. It's not those. a good time. But Sh this is clutchless shifting is not a good time. This is course. this is a get track transmission. You know, so they always have a hard life, anyways. Yeah, hard life uh, riders. <laughs> they, they are more stout than I have given them credit for in the past. Yeah. After having the Cheeto for so long and that car running so damn well, the abuse that that thing takes and this transmission doing what it's doing now. It's not the transmission, this is 100% the slave cylinder, but the transmission's taking it like a champ. As long as we replace the slave and the transmission doesn't grind any gears after this, we'll be fine. Feels good to be home. Feels good to be home. Oh, hell yeah, doctor. I thought it was black. It is black. What do you think, little Cheeto? You bought a 
Yeah. Fucking legend, bro. <laughs> sick, huh? This is Daniel's car. This is not my car at all. Fair point. <laughs> Still. Freaking sick. Check it out, dude. No, I'm looking at it. I'm, look I'm taking it in. Well, these seats are. Oh, wait, no. That just, just that one, just that one, just that one is leather. All of the rest of them are cloth. I was about to say, dang, these seats are actually in really good condition. <laughs> Little did I know, none of the seats are the same, and not even the one seat, but this, the top half. The top of half the of this leather, the, the rest is cloth, and the driver's one is completely cloth. <laughs> and it's completely different back. And it's red, yeah. Too. The back, and then we got yeah. we got Tommy's seatbelts. Unfortunately, the car didn't have any rear seatbelts, so we just bought some ratchet straps, and Tommy's been driving for 700 miles with a ratchet strap seatbelt. How's that been? So I would have been the one Things mint, dude. Yeah, so we and he have a door. You ready for, the, ready for the glove box, bro? Hey, it doesn't suck. How? <laughs> you did. <dick. laughs> no, no, how much did he give you to take this off his head? I like this, though. Yeah, the airbag cover is pretty sick. <laughs> <laughs> no, we we. Oh, it's no, it's black. The front it's bumper and the front clip is black. <laughs> it look, I'm like, that's a really. Say, no, that is green. Yeah, I one one thing green. we did is we had the guy put four brand new tires on it the day yeah, before we picked say, it up. It's like, it's like that was that was like the one thing we weren't going to take a risk on. I have the receipt for the tires, and he showed me the brake pads. Like he that's, showed me. I can't believe that this is so nice. Right. Uh, that's Kylie. Yeah. Okay, is that your ride? All right, we're officially home. We have lots of work to do on the car. Super psyched that we made it. Legendary trip. Legendary car. We're gonna push it back over there and then Danny's gonna order a slave cylinder it's probably tomorrow. Oh, yeah. it's staying here? Yeah. It's staying here until we fix it. Well, it doesn't have a clutch, right? It doesn't have a clutch. So we're just gonna roll it back there until we fix oh, yeah. it. And then, uh, What'd you say? And then, we'll, then we'll go from there. Anyone who asked? And she's like, I had well, OEM seatbelts the whole time. Amen, brother. So, <laughs> obviously, this car has a lot of work to be done, but it is going to be a super sick, super fun adventure for Daniel because this is Daniel's brand new car. Very nice. Brand new car. Brand new. Brand new, brand new busted ass, no clutch having manual car. The Black Burrow. The Black Burrow. See you guys later. But one look at her, she's oh so fine. I know I've got to make her mine. She's just my kind, I can't get her off my mind. She's my kind of woman, I need a soul. Yeah, my kind of woman, I can't let her go. Five feet of dynamite will keep me dancing through the night. You know, a black cat got nothing on a lucky man. Saturday night